everyone, uh, just doing a quick tutorial on how to upload your paints to Trading Paint. At the same time, how to view them in iRacing while you're designing them. So the first thing you want to do is open up iRacing and open up the sim. And we're going to be designing a sprint car. So we'll use a 410 dirt sprint car. And we're going to hit test car on track. While that's loading up the simulator, open up Photoshop. Now this is the design of my new car while the sim is opening up. And I want to see that everything's well aligned and everything's okay and ready to upload to Trading Paints so everyone else can view it. So once the sim has loaded up, what you want to do is hit test. Make sure that you are sitting in the car. So you can just leave it there or you can just take it for a quick spin, like I do. Just kick it a bit sideways and stop the car. Exit this car, medium escape, fast forward until you find position you like it, which is about there. Uh, now, I find that a bit too far away to view the car. So I hold down control and press F12. This brings up a camera edit option. Once you're in there, hit control and Z. You should be able to scroll around with the mouse, look around. To zoom in on the car, I just click the left mouse button. Put it approximately where I want to see it from. It's about there, which is fine. And hit control Z again. It will move it a little bit. But you have options to um, to change all that. You can go to the top here and hit uh, the position type is fixed and aim static. What that'll do is when you control Z, zoom in on it, it should hold it exactly where you are. That space bar gets rid of everything. So, I, so control Z and that holds it pretty much true. That's fine. Now, so we go back to Photoshop. We find the design. Control Shift S together. And that is the Save As command. We'll go to Documents, iRacing, Racing, Paint, and Dirt Spring, Dirt Sprint Winged 410. Now change the file type to Targa, and you shouldn't have all these files in here, but just say you don't have. Sorry, you, all you have to do is find your uh, iRacing member number, which this one here is mine. So I will click on that. See, what I'll do is I'll do it from the start. So what we'll need to do is delete all the target files that it has. Delete, 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 delete. Can't select all because we're saving as. It's just going to take a little bit longer. That's fine. Okay, so what you want to do is, to get it to pop up onto the simulator, so you can see it, you need to type in car, underscore, and your uh, iRacing customer number. So mine is 27, Save that. 24 bits. Go back into the simulator, and Control R refreshes the paint job. Which is the paint job that you've been working straight on. Around and have a look, pretty good to me. All right, so I'll just say I'm happy with that right now. Oh, here's another little trick. Uh, you notice that you cannot see the numbers on my car, that's just simply in options, graphics down the bottom right here, hide number while testing. You can turn it back on if you like to see where the numbers sit. Like so, just control R, just refresh. You can see the numbers on there. Okay. So what I like to do is hit print screen. There are quicker ways of doing that, but I hit print screen to take a snapshot of that screen. I Photoshop with um, I use this image size. 
so uh, 1366 by 768 you can use whatever you like but that's fine all right so i paste the picture i took in here just keep it there for now so let's jump back into our design now we want to save it as wherever you save it. So we're going to go Dirt Division Cars, we want DD screen 12.04.18. That was the date I created. So I'll save that. And then we'll also save it as the target file in the same folder. Okay. Now back to the picture. Save that as a JPEG. We'll call that boot sprint. Just because I'm showing you guys. We'll save it as a JPEG. Uh, the JPEG options, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Right, so after you're happy with your car, you've taken a photo of it. All you need to do now is go to Creating paints, and you click the top right here is upload. You want to choose a paint file to share. You will find the file that you saved it in. It's Dirt Division Cars for me, and I will just make it easier for myself, and I will sort these by date. First ones there. There we go. So you want to upload the target file. Double click. You want to select the vehicle you're uploading, which is a dirt sprint car, and put a description in. I just usually put my web address. You select the picture that you uh, that you saved of your car, so it displays. Okay, so that's basically how you do it if you have the normal trading paints. If you have Trading Paints Pro, you have the option to make it public so anyone can uh, use it. You can make it unlisted so only the people with the link can use it. And you can also set it for approval. So uh, anyone that clicks on it and wants to use it, will there will be an approval set to your inbox and you can tell them whether or not you'd like it. So I'm just gonna set this one as unlisted for now, just so you can see the process. So once the paint has uploaded, it's nearly done. And process and this green button down the bottom should turn blue. Okay, add show. Now usually I will do this off screen so no one can see the link to it, but I don't mind if you guys see this. So we'll close that and up the top here, you'll find the link to that so if I was doing this paint for someone else, I would copy that link and send it to them. And because they're the only people with the link, they'll be able to be the only ones that use the car. Everyone can still see the car uh, while you're on the track. Okay, that concludes the tutorial. Please subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, if you guys have anything you'd like to know, please put it in the message box down below. And uh, thank you once again for watching one of my tutorials. Cheers.